Hello YouTube, Eugene here with the review on the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers 8 inch action figures. Yes friends, this is the line that started it all and uh, mainly the 8 inch line really. Um, and these came out way back in 1994, shortly after Power Rangers started to air. And these were very, very popular back then. I remember the popularity and the hell on trying to get these. And uh, let me start by saying, uh, in order, uh, well, red and black were my first two. Then I got blue and pink, and then yellow was my last to get. So, um, so basically, I started out with two of them. That's pretty much why, if you can tell, these two kind of look like they're banged up a little bit more. But... Uh, Pretty much, um, they still look nice and everything, and uh, uh, like I said, I remember as a kid going to Toys R Us and getting them, and um, then going from store to store to find them, so, but anyway, uh, and some of you guys are like, ooh, I have these, and, um, you know, some of these are on eBay, and, you know, so, but anyway, let's go ahead and uh, get to the next part to take a look at the molding of these figures and, you know, the articulation. Okay, also. let's go ahead and take a look at the articulation and the moldings of these figures. So we're going to start with Red, the first out of the group here. And uh, let me see if I get my lighting on. There we go. Uh, as you see, he's got a nice, nice helmet sculpture here. He's got his Tyrannosaurus coin on his chest here. Uh, as you can see, I had to put tape on here because the buckle kept coming undone. Um, let's see, and of course, you know, uh, 360 all around with the head. Uh, same thing with the arms, uh, the elbow joint, and the finger joint. I'm going to call it finger joint. Uh, he does come with his own blade blaster. Sadly, it does not uh, change into a sword. Uh, so anyway, and of course you can have him hold his blade blaster. So mainly, all five of them come with the blade blaster. So there you go. And we'll put it back in. But anyway, uh, he does do a knee movement. And he actually does feet movement, which is something. And of course, you'll be hearing that. So anyway, well enough on red. And this was uh, my very first one I got uh, alongside with Black Ranger. So, speaking of Black Ranger, here he is. Same molding as Red Ranger, the exception of the helmet sculpture here. Now, I like the helmet sculpture here of the Mastodon. Uh, got a little scuffs on here. I don't know if you guys can see it. Uh, and then uh, he's got his Mastodon coin. Uh, this time he's done in black. And, you know, just like Red Ranger, he comes with his own blade blaster. Uh, can move his arms all around. Uh, fingers can open up and head, knees, feet, so pretty much the same as Red Ranger. So, next, let's go ahead and take a look, a look, a look at Blue Ranger. Of course, there were some issues here. I kind of took these things apart by accident. That's why you can see the, uh, you know, the arm turning around is rather fast and the head is rather fast. So. As you can see on the Triceratop coin, it's kind of got some missing paint coming off. Uh, pretty much like red and black. Well, same molding as Red Ranger, uh, the exception of the Triceratops uh, helmet here, the helmet sculpture here. Um, has, has a blade blaster. Uh, can do uh, leg movement, knee movement, feet movement, uh, finger movement, arm movement, and so on. Sadly, it's not no uh, figure art where uh, it does the waist movement and so on. So it's just, you know, the usual. So. Um, okay. Next is Yellow Ranger. This was my last figure of the line that I actually gotten. Uh, it took me forever to find her. Uh, but anyway, as you can see, uh, same molding as Red Ranger. Just uh, different head sculpt. I mean, uh, helmet sculpture here. Uh, pretty nice. Uh, 360 head articulation and, you know, uh, hand arm all around and elbow uh, movement, finger movement, still got the uh, blade blaster, um, knee uh, movement, leg movement, and then feet movement. So clearly these are all, they're, they're uh, mainly 8 inches long, standard. 
and um, they're really really nice uh, some of these got a little bit of paint scuffs on them you know because of the years on them so all right and last but not least into this collection is pink ranger uh, love her um, I, I was always a fan of her probably the way she fights and everything but anyway same molding as the other four um, besides the helmet sculpture is different here 360 all around uh, movement here uh, you know uh, 360 arm articulation here uh, elbow movement hand movement oh I, sp I forgot to show this is the hand mo the wrist movement here and the finger movement here leg movement and so basically you can do a, a lot of poses with these and then uh, here's the uh, pterodactyl symbol on her chest um, so they're really really nice nice figures I got to say uh, some of the belts on mine have you know a little bit of paint coming off the area here on the buckles here um, some don't I think it's only yellow ranger that doesn't have that so but um, anyway well for all you Power Ranger fans I'm gonna go ahead and show off the box so let's well, alright friends let's go ahead and take a look at the boxes uh, that these 8 inch figures come out of um, pretty much um, they're nice looking boxes you know they have the two lightning bolts right here it's got R Jason Red Ranger Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and then, of course it's got like a shot you know of Jason morphing into the Red Ranger with the power of the Tyrannos Tyrannosaurus Rex and I'll show you to you like this and all around nice um, as you can see my box has kind of had some bang you know it, it looks all banged up because it has been in storage so uh, on the top of the box pretty much it just shows you Money Wolf and Power Rangers and the five nothing on the bottom on the back of the box and of course you know all the boxes are gonna be the same I just gonna I just went ahead and I want to show just Jason's but anyway it says Money Wolf and Power Rangers the story and of course the uh, the whole eight inch line you know including the evil space aliens I don't know if some of you guys own the evil space aliens I don't I just have the uh, original five and uh, it says it shows you the power gun and the power morpher and then uh, shows you uh, the uh, collector bio card right here so anyway that's pretty much it I'm only, I'm only gonna show uh, just this box here but you all get the gist I mean they all look the same back here so anyway well looks like it's time to go ahead and conclude this review so I honestly hope you guys are enjoying it uh, this is all to so all you Power Ranger fans that that went through a lot of hell trying to find these and uh, like I think I think just about the whole fandom uh, went through a lot of hell trying to find these so anyway well, let's go ahead and get to the next part to conclude okay friends that is everything for this review I hope you all enjoyed it I have to say that you know reviewing these figures really bring back a lot of memories for me because uh, um, not only did I, I was the one hunt for these but my parents uh, whenever I was uh, 13 years old so it brings back a lot of memories and uh, I mean I got to say these are nice nice figures uh, you can definitely pose them better than I have um, I mean I just wanted to show you guys the articulation and everything and of course I remember the popularity with them back then so um, and I know probably some of you guys probably found these off of eBay probably for a good deal or probably some of you guys are hunting for these uh, if you are go to eBay uh, check with Ranger Board ch uh, check with any online forums sites you name it but uh, anyway but please check out my blog is the G42181's blog.blogspot.com for all your info on the channel, future reviews, future vlogs, you name it. And my friends, this is the review on the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers 8-inch action figures. I hope you enjoy this. Please comment and subscribe. I'm Eugene. I'm signing out. And y'all have a great day. And thank you for watching. Bye, friends.